So friends, today we will learn about the Vikarme, which is perfect, in the Turi tool path of ADCAM 2017 for the 3 axis CNC router. So first thing that we will require about is to have some good images of the, like this one, for the Vikarving. So we will do the, and also we will see what is the difference between the imperfect and perfect Vikarving. So in ADCAM, we can in the 2D toolpath, we can choose the V-carving. Okay. So here I open first the image. Today we will do the machining on programming on this. So open it. At the first, no need to set the model size. Just we need to create a vector that is by bitmap to vector. Then reduce colors from 32 to 2. Say OK and create vectors. Now you can see here is the rectangle also created but we don't need a rectangle after rectangle you should be deleted always now you can see these pink color vectors are generated now reduce the contrast so group it and cut now you can see now I am taking the standard size okay 4 by 8 feet that is 48 by 96 inches that is this much mm higher resolution and lower left corner always say ok and uh, then paste the vectors generated here now we have some condition every customer has some condition what should be the v carving how what should be the size depending upon that and availability of the tools we decide it is should be the perfect or imperfect so uh, you can see here the it depends upon the size width, material thickness and type of the VB tools we have. So here all deciding factor is the maximum depth that we I will show you in the step, another step. So firstly we see about the customer's requirement. I, uh, there is a customer who is required a finished depth should be less than 9 mm or equal to 9 mm is okay for him. So I have considered it as R and uh, one more we will get one more value we will get after choosing the VBIT in the ADCAM 2017 so we will see it so this is the size for this kind of size uh, we will require see first I will increase its size you just press T and uh, first control A and select it then press T and you can see the nodes and you can press alt and increase its size for this size uh, I have to choose one one bit for this size if they will decrease the size I will need a lower angle tool for this size I will need more than that angle tool for this also more so I can shoot I should first show you some uh, okay, Vivid carving tools information. This is the Vivid carving, some angles, some standard tools. So, as the angle of the Vivid carving increases, the maximum depth is decreases. So, this is the parameter one which we have. Also, the availability, also this size. I have just shown you this size. For this size, one Vivid carving. If for this size, Vivid 90 degree is okay. Then for this size, there should be, we should have to use 60 mm, depending upon the size and also the width. Width means uh, the maximum width, that the, this, like this, this distance is the maximum width for this kind of design. So uh, we should take one, firstly, if I want this size, if customer want this size, we will try. Okay, so toolpath, to the toolpath, in that we will carving, we should Firstly, first step is to select the tool. If I have only one tool, that is uh, VB 32mm 90 degree only, I should do the machining on that only. Then, see, here is the maximum depth value. I am considering this value as my M. And I have to compare it with customer's requirement R. So, customer's R is less than or equal to 9 so we are here is is more so so it is not good so we 
either we can do the we can do it like this we can shift the size so the width is changed so now you can refresh see you can see now for the same tool only the maximum depth is changed from 17 to 10 like this I can use only one tool if the customer want to that size only see now the size we can do it or else one option is also there we have to choose other tool now I have told you that is the as the angle increases the maximum depth decreases since the we have to choose the higher angle likewise I will choose if I choose uh, 130 degree and see whether okay yeah see for this size now 7.417 now I have to further increase if I can get near to 9 is good so I choose 140 oh sorry 120 okay now you can see it is 9.183 so it is it is not acceptable since it is more than 9 you can see here customer requirement is this we should satisfy the customers need first so for this size we have to choose the tool that is a V beat 32 mm and 130 degree this is the most okay if the size I further increase then I have to see now how the see now you can see the maximum depth also increases see as the size increases maximum depth increases that is M and as the angle of the tool increases the maximum depth decreases so likewise we have to decide which tool and availability of the tools whether we can do the imperfect carving or perfect carving so I am here to teach the uh, perfect carving okay so we will concentrate on perfect carving this is the exact size that customer wants I should keep it in the center by F9 or you can go in the vector align and center in model so this is the requirement so I uh, now I will do the programming so you can say this is the 130 degree refresh it you can see the maximum depth is not okay it is greater than 9 so not satisfying the customers need so we have to choose a greater degree tool so I have to choose the 140 degree since as the angle increases the maximum depth decreases see now it is 7.527 that is acceptable okay so now I have to put this value to here here 7.527 7.527 okay now need to define the material here you need to 12 okay I am considering every time 12 because it is an example I am took here okay so you can do it on any material you have okay say calculate now you can see now the vectors are toolpath are generating this is the toolpath so only the thing that we have to do is now simulation simulate all toolpath you can choose high detail and say simulate toolpath so you can see now how is the perfect we carving looks like see this is the perfect we carving you will see only one single line any every 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 close vector we will see either dot or line perfect this is called as perfect v carving you can also want to show the material you can how it will be looks you can select you can go in the okay firstly layout standard okay this is okay click on the simulation and the uh, bottom bottom on the right corner you will see the material in that you can choose the light oak or some medium oak horizontal I choose and then say apply you can see the material is applied to it so this is how it is if you want to see the how the tool will goes you can go in the tool path simulation simulation control bar and if you want to save the tool path you can save tool path as here you have to say toolpath you have to enter what is the L length grid height 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 means 12 here for I have to give example 
you can put your practical values it is just a name no need to worry so I have took 140 degrees so you can see here in the name and just save it you can save I have saved it in on desktop you can see it this is that program so this program we will look in the print row and go for the operating I have already did the exam you can see you can see this okay so I think you got some idea about the perfect recovery it depends what parameter it depends so I think uh, next in the next video we will learn about the imperfect recovery okay thanks for watching video so I hope you like the video please subscribe oh one thing also uh, we haven't seen the clamping distance always remember the clamping distance so you can avoid the accidents while operating so I hope you like the video please subscribe like and comment for any queries you can contact me on my mail is alvincnc.avi.gmail.com thank you have a good day